a third grader this year. And while we are carrying over some curriculums that we've used in the past and that have worked well for us, we're also trying a couple new things. And I thought I would take some time to share them with you. First off is this new way of having my child's stuff all put together for him. It's just this container that you open up Right inside is everything that he needs. It's got his learning journal, which we will talk about it at another point, but this is how he is going to be tracking his own work this year. He's got a little timer so he can keep track of how long he's been reading, a calculator. We're just keeping it kind of basic in here, but he has all of his needs all put together. On top, he's got what he's going to be working on for his personal devotion time. Now we do family Bible time together and I talk about that in our family subjects video, but he has been specifically saying that he wants to work more on his walk with God. And in Rebecca Spooner's curriculum, More Than Words, the third quarter is devoted to things like prayer or reading your Bible and how to do that well. We really liked what we have gotten through so far of this. So for Eli, I have the digital download and I just created this little packet for him of just the third quarter. So it's not too big. He can work through it on his own. Own. Often he's the child that's awake before others and will come downstairs and while I'm doing my devotional, he can just pick up his too. In the past, he'd been working on Indescribable, which is a fantastic one. He's able to read it himself and learn about how God is involved in science. So I also really recommend that one, but he's almost done with it. So we're going to be working on this. In my first graders curriculum review, you saw that I really like using these journals for my kids. At the top, there's this blank section for them to draw a picture or an image of what they're learning about, maybe what a Bible verse is about or something else. And then down below, they practice their handwriting. So Eli has one as well. We'll be doing nature journaling in this. He'll be practicing his memory verses, just writing creative things in it. And then he'll be able to keep it as a memory from his childhood in his memory box too. So this is one way that we'll be practicing handwriting, but he's also at the point where we're going to introduce cursive. Here it is. I found this cursive handwriting book. It, it is just an intro to cursive, just copying and tracing some letters and words. We're going to start with this before I actually try another curriculum. I grew up using Christian Liberty's cursive handwriting one, and we might use that at some point. Um, we might just use Draw Right Now's curriculum for that. I haven't fully decided yet, but for right now, we are just going to try to use this book as an introduction. We've never used these literature guides before, but I've heard great things about them. And I really like the way that it challenges the child to think deeper about what they are currently reading. I chose to get, okay, I actually switched it. I decided to go with the trumpet of the swan instead. This is going to go better with the unit that we are doing. And I think it might be a little bit more fitting for him at this time. I'm really excited about these because what it is, is it just tells your chat child that after chapters three and four, then they need to fill these out. And this is reading comprehension at that level. And so I'm excited for him to do this and to really dig into literature more rather than just skimming through it and getting his reading done, really taking the time to, um, debrief what he learned and have some purposeful handwriting that's even included to think more about it. I think that this is going to be really good for him. And then maybe we'll go back and do the other one that I had planned when this one is done. Now, our main curriculum that we're using for grammar this year is Spectrum Language Arts. We are just gently going through this. Um, we don't do it all the time. It will be looped with his other language arts subjects, but I so far have found this to be really good for him. We're also finishing up this book. We're so close to being done with it, but this Star Wars book has been really fun for my kids. It's nice to have things that entice them and intrigue them. It just has a lot of writing prompts about Star Wars characters, what if you were a Jedi, matching different words, learning about homophones and antonyms and things like that. That's all been in here. There's some Mad Lib stuff. This is a really fun one for your kids to be working through too. It takes them out of their regular curriculum, gives them a break, makes it more exciting. You might want to check this one out. This is for the second grade, but they have them for the different grade levels. So we're just finishing this one up and I'm going to move on. All right, for math, if you follow me at all, you know that I really like the Life of Fred series and that my son had been trying teaching textbooks, but decided 
actually he asked me if he could go back to Life of Fred. I really like Life of Fred, so we said yes, and we're going to be continuing on with it. He is in book G, which is Goldfish. That's book seven of the series, and so he it's right where he needs to be. He's working on multiplication, and it's so good for him. So he'll be continuing with this, along with some workbooks along the way, just multiplication and division workbooks that we have for the occasional uh, switching it up, just doing a quick work page, and then moving on for that day if he decides that he needs a break from Fred for some reason. Oh, somehow this one got behind the others. This is his spelling program for the year. It's all about spelling. I love all about spelling. It is a wonderful curriculum. As a mom who has dyslexia, I've mentioned this before, I think that this is just a fantastic curriculum to do with your kids. Um, so we're gonna be in level three this year with him, going through the spelling rules. They're fantastic. This is a great one to check out with your kids. I wanna do a whole nother video on All About Spelling, but my affiliate link is down below. So if you are interested, would you please click through that link to check out their curriculum and what they have to offer. We'll talk about it more in the future so make sure you are subscribed so that you see when that video comes up. Typically for history and science, we tie those into what we're doing for whatever our unit study is, but our unit study this year is very heavily focused on history. And so while I could find some things to tie in science to that, I really want us to be working on nature journaling. So he's gonna be using his uh, journal for that, but then we're also going to be using different unit parts of the master books series. And so in my science curriculum review, you can see that my friend was getting rid of hers because they decided it wasn't what they needed. And so I picked it up from her, used, and then I just tore out these little unit sections here. And he will be learning about some things that I think he could develop more, better, deeper understanding in. But it's not the whole book. I don't think he needs the whole book. There's a lot there that he's already learned through other ways. And so I'm just picking out select areas and then it's just a couple of pages that he'll have to do um, occasionally. I think this is going to work out really well for our science too. If you want to see more about what we are doing for our unit study this year, then you can click on that video right here. If you're interested in what my first graders are doing here and if you want to see what my preschooler is going to be doing here. Thanks for subscribing you guys. See you soon.